and one to speaks. And in this BNF bite sized video, I am going to be covering lower UTIs, giving you a brief summary about UTIs. I know that is something which you're so excited about. So if you do like this video, then please do give it a thumbs up, share, like, subscribe. Do also visit my Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. So with lower UTIs, they occur more frequently in women compared to men. And E. coli is usually the most common culprit and cause of lower UTIs. You can get upper UTIs as well. Um, if I briefly explain the two. Warning with the next part that I'm about to talk about. There are words in there that I can't pronounce um, because as we know by now, pharmacy and medicines really is its own language. So forgive me for not being able to pronounce these words properly, but I will write them somewhere so that you know exactly what I'm talking about. So with lower UCIs, they are associated with inflammation of the bladder, so cystitis and urethra, so urethritis. Remember anything with itis at the end, refers to inflammation. Some symptoms of lower UTIs can, for example, be dysuria, increase in urine frequency, urgency, cloudy urine, and even persistent lower abdominal pain. With the upper though, the upper UTI, that can affect the proximal part of the ureters. So this is where the word comes, pilitis. Um, or it can affect the proximal part of the ureters and the kidneys. Also, this term can be referred to as pyelonephritis. Pi pyelonephritis. Again, itis referring to those inflammation. Um, it can cause renal scarring, sepsis, loin pain, fever. In addition to some of those symptoms that it can um, that are seen in lower UTI as well. Now, if a person has two episodes in six months or three or more episodes in twelve months we would then term that as being recurrent. And with recurrent UTIs, tendency is to give nitrofurotoin or trimethoprim um, and to give that prophylactically. Now, in some instances, especially if it's an acute episode of lower UTI, we may not need to resort to giving medicines. Um, so non-pharmacological advice that can, that can be given to patients is, for example, to make sure that they drink plenty of fluids, to make sure that they wipe from front to back um, and that they don't delay urination. And um, there are a lot of cranberry containing products available um, which say help the symptoms of UTIs. It's worth noting, though, that there is not enough sufficient evidence to actually suggest that these do work. There, there isn't enough concrete evidence. So it's something worth bearing in mind when you are recommending, if you are recommending these um, cranberry containing products to patients and um, just making them aware of that. With you can get complicated UTIs as well. And some risk factors include, for example, pregnancy, um, older age, so those are post-menopausal, and um, certain conditions such as diabetes mellitus, um, those are immunosuppressed as well, um, and also those that have any pre-existing urological conditions. Now, in the case of a lower UTI in those that are not pregnant or in men, then first-line treatment would be nitrofurantoin, um, or it can be trimethoprim if, the low, uh, if there is low um, risk of resistance. Whereas with pregnancy, we mustn't give trimethoprim, can't give trimethoprim in pregnancy. Instead, um, first line would be nitrofurantoin. If for any reason nitrofurantoin wasn't um, suitable or there was no improvement after 48 hours, then second line would actually be amoxicillin, ensuring that there's no penicillin allergy. So for both pregnant women and men, a urine sample would be required. Tend not to need a urine sample for non-pregnant women unless they had any other conditions uh, or comorbidities which would warrant needing one. So I do hope that you enjoyed this bite-sized BNF on lower UTIs. If you do want to know more about urinary tract infections or you want to know more about different infections and medicines involved, then make sure that you do check out my infections video, which covers this and so much more. And I will include the link to that as well. So until next time, please show your love for this video. Please hit that subscribe button and good luck with your vision and have your risings.